I've bought fabric. Now technically I haven't bought, well, I bought one piece of fabric this year, but I haven't bought any of this in 2023. So my no buying fancy fabric rule is still being adhered to. And we're halfway through January. Well, two thirds of the way through January. Who knows how long this will, will last for those. I placed an order with Lady McElroy during their 50% remnant sale. And uh, my final bill was, I've got it here. I can reach this. My grand total was 185 pounds. That's with the discount applied. <laughs> Whoops. But it was such a good deal and you, you can't really pass up on that. And I was one of the early birds, so I did get quite a lot of choice of their remnants because the 50% off only applied to remnants. This isn't from Lady McElroy. This is a cotton flannel that I got from eBay and it is the only fabric I've purchased this year. And it's the interlining for my hemispheric coat, which is the next project. My black coat is almost finished. It just needs all the hand sewing doing to it today, which is my plan for this afternoon once this is edited. I also have a wholesale order. So I'm gonna show you because all of that's arrived now. So I'll show you these bits first and then we can go through the remnants. So first up, this is totally Lynn's fault and I've said this every time I've shown this, this fabric. If you watched last Sunday's Hangout, you'll have seen these already. But this is a cotton rayon blend suiting called Bissau and it has a texture to it and it's a really nice ivory color. So it's a really good color for me. I've had some of it before. I've got some up here. I have made a dress, a waistcoat and a skirt from it. And I really wanted to make a pair of trousers, which is why I bought that three meters up there the last time I was at the McElroy showroom or warehouse. I came back, showed you guys that and Lynn said, oh, you know what would look really good? A white jacket for a Bianca Jagger style suit. And I immediately just went, yes, yes, I need that. So when they found some more of this, Raymond messaged me and was just like, found it if you want it and I am denied about it and then I decided to go for 10 meters because I could buy it wholesale at that price and it ended up being five pounds more expensive than if I had bought the five meters that I needed at retail now hear me out I want to remake the skirt because the skirt that I have is the Buttrick 6380 skirt which is very nice but very narrow and not me at all I want to make a three-quarter circle skirt with it I want to do the jacket and the trousers then whatever I've got left I'm going to dye it I'm going to experiment with some scraps because there will be scraps from cutting those pieces out so I'm going to experiment with the scraps to see what colors I can achieve with this I'm hoping for a green because I think this would make an amazing green suit as well so yeah very excited about this one this probably won't be happening for a little while a cream suit is not really I mean I suppose it is winter appropriate but yeah this won't be happening for a little while but very excited about this one I'm excited about the dyeing experiments as well and I will take you guys along on the journey of that because we all know how much luck I've had with dyeing stuff in the past <laughs> next up is one that I put a short out for this morning this is ugh, really heavy <laughs> it's eight and a half meters of a 80% wool, 20% polyamide coating, and it's a really beautiful bright orangey red. It's called Campbell. Again, I got this wholesale. I ordered the last eight and a half meters of it. It had to come all the way from Italy because it was being held hostage in the Italy warehouse. So it finally arrived yesterday. I absolutely love it. I am planning on making a long coat out of this, possibly the Angela Clayton one, which does take 10 and a half meters of fabric, but I don't want it to be that long. So planning on making this kind of like ankle length, possibly just above ankle length but I think it's absolutely beautiful really looking forward to working with it it's really heavy <laughs> really heavy Ooh. hopefully I haven't broken something and then the final things that I got from Lady McElroy's wholesale order was the lotus lining you guys know I love this stuff it's a viscose acetate blend and I looked it up acetate is a plant-based fiber so it is a hundred percent natural but it's slippery it's shiny and it's really nice to work with presses really well behaves itself and does what I need it to do for lining things so I've got 10 meters of the red and 10 meters of the ivory I am planning as you guys know a capsule collection based around red so I think both of these are going to be really useful I don't want to line the coat with this because the coat of the outer is going to be plain I'm actually thinking I might treat myself to some of this from Spoonflower on their satin which I've used to line coats with before I have this print on the cotton silk bag and it is absolutely stunning so I'm thinking I might treat myself to enough coat lining I can use this for the sleeves because the sleeves I mean mind you there's probably going to be enough weird pattern pieces that I could get the sleeves out of the roses as well and the roses are slippery enough to do that so uh, yeah this is going to be for all the kind of like the patterned 
fabrics that I've got back here because I like a plain fabric with a pattern. Sometimes it's a patterned outer with a plain lining and sometimes it's a plain outer with a pattern lining. I can't go for plain with plain, it's just not in my DNA. <laughs> so they were the wholesale pieces and now we have all of the remnants that I picked up. So the first one, I've got my little order here. Okay, so the first one is the Dotty About Dots remnant. Now this one is actually faulty as well. It has print fault on the very edge, which is fine, but it also has a couple of lines all the way through the entire three meter length. But that's totally fine. I knew that going in and I wanted this to make a blouse because this is one of my colours that works for me up against my face. So I was thinking that as a blouse would look really, really nice. I've got three meters, so if I can make it work with the print fault that's going through it, I would love the giant sleeves. But if not, I will go for biggish sleeves. I do like the straight sleeves that I achieved with the 9345 striped shirt, but I think I just I just prefer I just prefer a little bit more pirate in my sleeves so yeah that's what this one's going to be and then i bought myself a second remnant of the orange blossom linen chambray now i've got one of those in here just there three meters as a remnant i think probably from the last 50 percent remnant sale that they did and this is a very large print like there's two repeats on the width of the fabric it's a really 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 large print i've seen loads of people make this up and it looks absolutely beautiful i bought the three meters thinking i'll experiment with that but i know what i'm like i want the big full 50s style skirts and i think having six meters of it means that i'll be able to fussy cut things out and i am thinking of something along the liz dress or the lamour dress with strategically placed oranges and flowers i think that could look amazing if i end up with enough left i will make obviously something else with this as well but i love this print and i love this color when they had another remnant for sale for half price i thought you know what let's do it let's get it and uh, see what we can do with it experiment and have some fun with a giant giant print and hopefully i'll take you guys along with me for that one because you guys have asked for videos about how to work with prints like this and border prints as well which there will be hopefully quite a few of this year Next up, we have got some more suiting. This time it is navy and it's 100% wool suiting from Paul Smith. Yeah, ex Paul Smith designer wool suiting. I actually bought two two and a half meter lengths of it, so I've got five meters in total. Again, navy is one of those colors that it's not technically in my spring palette but it does look good on me i think if worn with something else framing the face and it's one of my favorite neutrals like the tan color back there as well and obviously red with five meters i'm hoping to get trousers skirt and waistcoat out of it and i think that's going to look really really nice this is so light and floaty i could easily make a dress out of this you know like a, a floaty dress with a big skirt and it, it, it would drape beautifully i'm not ruling out maybe changing my mind about what i want to make with it but i do think i would get the most wear out of this trousers skirt and waistcoat and again the lady dandy waistcoat the lucille trousers and a three-quarter circle skirt is my ideal combination but i've only got five meters and they're all kind of fabric hungry so i'm not 100 percent sure if it's doable but some combination of those three things from this suiting mum immediately eyed it up when it came in she was like oh is that for me no no mother it is not <laughs> okay this one wasn't in the 50 percent of remnant sale but it was a discounted fabric it is this silk and rayon gorgeousness it's called linny i will try and list to all the fabrics that i can in the description down below i bought five meters of this i have no idea what i want to do with it i think something like the victory patterns tree in a dress but I'm not 100% sure because whilst I love that style and other people, it's a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So maybe I wouldn't make it up immediately in this one first, but this is just so, so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of, it's not quite the same green, but Keira Knightley's atonement dress. Uh, yeah, this is, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I just thought it was a really interesting blend of fibers as well, being rayon and silk. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not too slippery, so it shouldn't be too horrible to work with, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it yet but it's been something I've been eyeing up for a while so I thought you know what let's get some of that okay next up we have something that really isn't my color and shouldn't be worn next to my face I need the brighter orangey reds it's called Harrison it's deep red I have three meters of it and it's just 
lighter than a ponty. Now I bought this with the intention of making another pair of my wide-legged jogging bottoms with it. It does have a decent amount of stretch in it. Uh, make it stretch. It does have a decent amount of stretch in it. About the same amount of stretch as the ponties that I've used for the other ones, the other two, the turquoise and black ones. But I, I'm, I'm slightly worried it might not work but I can always tweak the pattern a little bit to make it work and I do put two inch elastic into the waistband of that so as long as the fabric stretches to go over my hips then the elastic can cinch it in at the waist. I think a pair of these as the jogging bottoms will look really really nice because I really enjoy wearing those jogging bottoms with all of my t-shirts that's the only time I ever really do go for separates. I think this is going to be an interesting one. As I say I've got three meters of it and it is quite wide. I'm gonna have fun playing around with this. It's definitely gonna be something I make like trousers out of because I just as I say having had my colors done and I'm banging on about it I know but that was the point of having them done. It's definitely not something that should be worn right next to my face or at least if I do it should be worn with like a deep V in it as well. It actually goes really nicely with Savannah. I've got quite a few Savannah t-shirts that would look really cool with this as their jogging bottoms so very pleased with that one. And then the very final fabric I have is another solid and again this is not technically bright enough to be one of my colours right next to my face. It's called Rhodesia. I have three metres and it is a stretch denim. It's, it's really actually very kind of lightweight like really lightweight quite a lot lighter weight than I was expecting it to be it's not like the Costal denim that I've the cedar green one that I've made the jacket and skirt out of the Sorrento and the um, 1743 skirt so it's much much lighter weight than that so I actually think this might be a really good one for making some wide leg jean type trousers with because it is so floaty it's not floaty but it's got it's got more drape to it it's not quite so structured as a lot of denims so I think this could look quite good as wide leg trousers because if the fabric is too structured with wide leg trousers it can look a little bit like clunky so yeah and I'm probably going to have enough left to make a waistcoat so there's going to be a waistcoat out of this as well so yeah that was the last purchase quite a lot of solids in there only the two prints but as I have mentioned many many times and as you can see I have curated not hoarded a giant collection of printed fabrics and I need some stuff to go with them so yeah I need to make solids and things that I can pair with my prints because whilst I usually wear a dress every single day of the week I don't always want to wear a dress so lots of solids hopefully I can talk myself into actually sewing them up this year we shall see so you'll have to let me know in the comments section down below which fabric you like the look of the most and which project or potential project you're most excited about seeing if you've enjoyed this video you might want to check out my plans for the year here